hidden between the lines of the Bible is evidence of a holy relic, on the existence of which the church has remained silent. It is described in the Old Testament, in several places in the book of Genesis, and in the non-canonical books of Jasher, Enoch, and Noah, already known to biblical researchers as the hidden teaching of Adam and Eve. This is the remarkable story of the Godskin. And the God Jehovah made for Adam and for his wife garments made of skin, dressing them in these clothes. Genesis chapter 3 verse 21 The first clothing worn by Adam and Eve to protect them from the world outside the Garden of Eden was personally tailored for them by God's own hand. Before the chalice from which Christ drank at the Last Supper, before the twin stone tablets upon which the Ten Commandments were inscribed, by the Almighty Lord were two Godskins bestowed upon man. In the second year after the end of World War II, the first of the Dead Sea Scrolls were found in the Eastern Judean Desert, buried inside the caves at Qumran. These scrolls were early Hebrew manuscripts of the books of the Old Testament. Apocryphal books, Jasher, for example, were also found with these manuscripts. An apocryphal book is a religious writing which, although inspired, was never included in the Judeo-Christian canon of accepted holy literature. As referenced in Joshua and Samuel, of the 13 ancient history books mentioned in the Bible, the book of Jasher is the only one that still exists. In this history, beginning with chapter 7, verse 24, is given in detail the chain of possession of one of the Godskins. Some believe that Eve was buried in her Godskin, so that she might retain the beauty with which she was endowed in life. The garment of Adam was handed down until it fell into the hands of Enoch. Towering over the Golan Heights is the highest mountain in Israel, Mount Hermon. This mountain, according to scripture, is where 200 fallen angels descended who sowed their seed among women of earth. The Godskin protected Enoch's body in his struggle against the Nephilim. The patriarch Noah inherited the Godskin from his grandfather Enoch. According to the Book of Noah, from his very birth, the appearance of his flesh was blindingly bright, and his eyes like the rays of the sun. Noah needed the blessed skin to appear normal. This explains the canonical passage from Genesis chapter 9, verse 22, when Ham is said to have seen his father naked. This was one of the few times when the Godskin had not been worn by Noah. Noah's other sons had to bring him clothing because Ham left that tent with more than an eyeful. He also walked off with the garment of Adam. The skin was eventually bequeathed to Ham's descendant, Nimrod. While dressed in the holy relic, Nimrod became nearly invincible. It gave him great strength, according to verse 30 in the same chapter of Jasher. Nimrod became a mighty hunter. He built altars where he offered up animal sacrifices to the Lord. He rose rapidly in the ranks of the military, undefeated in battle against the enemies of his clan. 
the god skin makes one final appearance in the Old Testament as the technicolor dream coat of Joseph. Of the 12 sons of Jacob, Joseph was his favorite. Jacob gifted his son with the so-called long coat of distinctive coloration. The clothing enhanced the power of Joseph's dreams. He dreamed of a future in which he became the master of his brethren. So his brothers stripped him of the garment, throwing Joseph into a pit. They brought home the blessed skin to prove the end of Jacob's favored son. As if it was buried in his stead, at this point in history, the godskin disappears.